Hey, what is up guys? So I'm here to give you guys a more in-depth explanation on the security binder video that I did make a while ago. A lot of you guys did comment and were wondering how it exactly worked. So if you guys haven't checked out the original video of how to make this, hey, check that out and then maybe you can understand it from there or this might actually help you out as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So once you've completed your binder, a lot of players uh, ask me, you know, how does this actually work? So at the end of the binder, there is this little loop. Similar to this, this is just the same type of wire. It's just not... Uh, in black. Uh, what I actually did was I used some shrink tubing and I just covered it uh, just because it looks a lot nicer. Now it's totally optional uh, like I said but I think it does look a little bit nicer. So uh, first off, um, so you'd have your loop at the end of your binder that looks something like this and what you would do uh, if you are a vendor or if you are you know walking in person you can attach it to yourself or a lock or a backpack or whatever you want to attach it to. So you basically have this loop and what you want to do is you want to put it around the object and then slide the binder through this hole right here like that. And this way, whenever they tug on it, which is the same thing right here, so whenever they tug on it, it won't come apart. And there's the same type of little uh, metal fastener on the end of this, so it won't come apart, guys, I promise you guys. As long as you, you know, did the uh, binder uh, properly, uh, they're not going to be able to uh, get this. <laughs> off. They, like I said, they need like a blowtorch because you can't really cut it. You need something to actually smash down the wire. So I guess if they took a hammer and they took a nice, they, actually if they took two hammers because it needs something else on the other side to be hard as well to actually smash down the wire. So like I said, it's not going to happen. Don't worry about this. Once they see this, they're just going to say, forget about it. It's not even worth my time. Uh, someone also mentioned that they thought the tape at the ends was actually supposed to hold it down. Uh, the tape is just for the aesthetics of it. It just makes it look a lot nicer rather than just having a metal wire just go all the way through. Um, it's actually not even held in by the tape. The tape is there, like I said, just for the looks of it. What's actually uh, holding it in is this little piece of, you know, metal that you smash down. Um, I did a, if you want to see the full video, you can actually see what it looks like, but uh, I kind of covered it with tape just because it looks a lot nicer. And after you smash down the uh, metal, the edges can get a little sharp. So I was like, you know what, I'll cover it up that way. No one uh, can scratch themselves on it because even the uh, wire itself, um, it's a little bit rough. Like if you if it rubs against you, it, it probably won't feel so great. So yeah, I recommend coating it in um, shriek tubing if you want. You can tape it down. Um, if you want it to look nicer. Personally, I just think it looks nicer. Um, it almost is kind of the way a book works when you open it up. Um, and there's in the center of it, it's a lot more slim when you close it. So like I said, that's uh, it's not kept in by the tape. Like I said, it's kept in by this little metal thing. And once you get the binder tight enough, uh, you push down the uh, little metal piece. I'm sorry, you guys can't see it. I put tape over. But if you watch the other video, you'll be able to see it. You tighten it to the point where it, the actual wire can't just come out from the center over here. So don't worry, it won't come out from the center as long as you make it very tight. Um, it'll actually tear the binder in half. And if someone can tear a monster binder in half with their hands, that requires a significant amount of strength. You guys can try it. Monster binders are actually pretty darn strong. Uh, unless, you know, you take like a blowtorch to it. <laughs> or if you took a blowtorch to the wire, yeah, that, that would probably... And it would still take a while. It wouldn't just instantly melt. This stuff is pretty strong, like I said, guys. But to hope this gives you guys an idea or a more in-depth explanation of how it actually works. Because, you know, if you're a vendor or you're just, you know, wanting to trade cards, there are people out there that like to steal entire binders. So be aware of that. And this will just hopefully prevent you guys from getting your stuff taken away. Because it really sucks, to, you know, to invest in a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and some evil person is just trying to take them. But anyways, guys... If you have any more uh, questions on it, hey, drop me a line in the comment section. I'll try to answer some of you guys. But yeah, like I said, it is, it works. I mean, it's very, very strong. It's not coming apart <laughs> uh, anytime soon. They're, like I said, they need a blowtorch. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, Age Night is out.